Welcome back to episode 2 in this Planet Zoo series where I'm doing something a little different. I'm building, I want to call it an animal sanctuary or a, a, a highway side farm is where I'm going to base this off of. Um, last episode we had very basic uh, infrastructure and I want to continue with our update because I feel at a very good spot that I can start finally working on the the farm itself. So I wanted to show you what I've done. Um, I posted a picture on Twitter today. If you don't follow me on Twitter, let me. I should know my Twitter my handle. It is Mister underscore Bean zero nine nine two is my Twitter. Um, I'm gonna start posting pictures um, of basically as the the builds come together. And then a, a YouTube video will be posted um, to show the final result. So this is the final result of basically everything outside the zoo. And I am actually, this has probably been, I mean, to me, my best work in the Planet uh, series, whether it be Planet Coaster or um, Planet Zoo. And I, this right here feels realistic. This could be real. Um, so these lights, the wood pole, and this like kind of metal base, we're going to start off right here on the road the, These with these light poles. Um, so I went into the workshop and Googled traffic light, um, and I came up with, I found, let's see, where are they at? Oh, they're right here. So these traffic lights, um, who are they by? They are by um, Ratty Cat is his name. Um, he was one of the few people that had a traffic light on the workshop, and he. So I I ripped his like just the black part of it off, and then I built the frame based upon Season Zoo with Mass Bas uh, Mass Bandit and N Seven. Kind of took some inspiration off of their traffic lights and built this road. <laughs> Um, so I finished it up, have all the markings on it. Um, let's just take a little little fly here. You can see it goes all the way now. Um, I'm really happy with this intersection. I do have like some like two corners left in the road, but this intersection, so this is, let's see, let me turn around. This is what I posted on Twitter today. It was this picture right here. This is where I took the picture. Um, but I just am really happy how this road turned out and the road markings on it. I'm just really happy with that. So let's talk about the, the actual zoo here. Um, so my thought is, is there's two little road entrances here. Um, this would be like a drop-off zone. Maybe something that was added a little bit later. That's why it's got... Um, like a darker asphalt um, to it and there will be a crosswalk here um, and then this parking lot over here um, I went and put in um, today uh, so this is a little parking attendant um, you would come and you would pay I don't know three dollars to park your car here for the day and then you would walk into the to the farm um, but yeah, so all, all of this is measured. I had a ton of vehicles out here when I painted the roads and then kind of brought the grass back in here. This, I feel, looks like a parking lot. Like, it's something that you would see in in real life. At like a, like just a kind of family-owned farm. Um, this square, though, I've not figured out why it's darker. I've tried to go over with brushes, and it just will not turn. So, I don't know what the... why that is not. But, this parking lot... Sorry, I'm moving the camera a ton. I'm just realizing this. Let me grab a view. Um, but this parking lot, super proud of. I, I, I just think it looks really good. Um, it feels real to me um okay so let's talk about some plans here i wanted to actually show 
let me wrap up, um, let me finish here in the game and then I'm going to show you my two inspirations because I want them to be a big part of this um, as I continue to grow um, with this series. So my next build is going to be this front entrance area. It's going to be very basic, but it's going to be, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to do like a grand entrance where it's got like metal detectors and bag check and everything. It's going to be you walk in and there will be a spot to buy your tickets, kind of you think of like a, a farm that you would go and visit during Halloween time is kind of what, what I'm thinking. Um, so yeah, you'll walk in and I'll have like... Uh, information and maybe like a small food outlet. I'm going to take a ton of inspiration from uh, Mass Bandit's Halloween series in Planet Coaster. Uh, I can't remember what it's called right now, but that's going to be one big inspiration in the farm aspect of it. Um, anyway, so that's kind of what's going to be right here. Um, and I'm not sure what my first animal is going to be. It's going to be a hoofed animal, though. I do know that. So that's what I would expect to see in my next video is just kind of this entrance area right here. Um, so let's go out and, and I want to show you the inspiration. So here we are and this is a Google um, image of the Olympic game farm in Squim, Washington. Um, so the basic premise is you drive in right here and you drive throughout this game farm and you feed the animals so like here's like a really good picture of like the bison come up and like stick your their heads in and you feed them bread or i think it's mostly bread but they like you feed them right from your cars but there's like tons of different animals there um obviously we're not going to have drive like cars driving through the farm but it will it will have this feel that you can interact with the animals. Some animals will be behind cages, but I want them to be able to be interact the animals to be interacted with. Um, so that's kind of where the interaction comes from. A lot of that. Um, the next thing that I my next point of uh, inspiration comes from Wheeler Farm. I went to this quite a bit growing up. I don't live. I didn't live too far from here, um, growing up, and it has animals. So um, here's like the parking lots. Um, they use this a lot now for wedding receptions, um, but there's like working a working farm here. So this over here is like where the animals are, like the animal pens. So like you can see, there's like I don't know what those are, but they're like you can go and interact with animals here and there's pens and so that's kind of what I wanted to do one of the big things I know I'm talking a lot I'm just trying to get this all in um, is I want this center barn I want it to be somewhere that like somebody could rent out for a ready a wedding reception um, and so there's going to be a barn in the middle of it that um, is very much going to be empty on the inside so they would be able to bring in and decorate it for wedding receptions um, let's see if I can make this can I click on this um, let me just zoom in I was not planning on doing this but you can like see it's not a very clear image but here's like some farms and then you have like walking paths in the back I'm not gonna have walking paths most most of it is gonna focus on the animals because that's what is planet zoo um, but yeah so I'm gonna have this humongous barn um, gonna jump right back into the game really fast uh, as I wrap this up that barn is gonna be right here is where this barn is gonna be um, anyway I hope that you guys continue to join me. Subscribe, like, comment if you have any suggestions. I hope that what you guys are seeing you're interested in and that you'll you'll continue to come back. Anyway, till next time, see ya!